Hello, it's Angela Anderson. Thanks for joining me tonight. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to paint some glowing Christmas candles. We'll be adding some greenery and maybe some ornaments at the bottom of these candles. And I'll be showing you step by step how to do it, painting with acrylic paints. I've got my husband, Mark, with me. Hey there, everybody. He's going to be man and chat for us during the live show. So let's get started. Alrighty, so I did a kind of an example. I found a few reference images and then I kind of combined my favorite parts of each one and kind of did a digital version of sort of the idea that I have for it. I may change the candle colors because I, I went on YouTube <laughs> earlier today and there's a lot of red candle videos already out there. So I'm thinking maybe we'll do them in like in a teal blue or something, but we'll still do the red Christmas balls. Change it up a little bit. Uh, so... Uh, I started out with a black uh, canvas. You can buy them already painted black. You can get a gessoed black canvas or do like I did and just paint a regular canvas panel with uh, some black paint. This is carbon black, but really any black will do. Uh, let me go over our palette really quick. I've got titanium white, unbleached titanium, uh, burnt sienna, burnt umber, uh, carbon black, and then I've got various reds here. Uh, quinacridone magenta, cadmium red medium, Cadmium red light, cadmium orange, yellow, or cadmium yellow light, cadmium yellow medium, <laughs> yellow oxide, thalo green, and thalo blue green shade. Uh, may not use all these reds since I changed my mind, but I think we probably will. We'll, we'll get to all of these colors, hopefully. And if you don't have these exact ones, you can use something similar. You probably don't need all of those oranges. Uh, you could mix some if you don't have all these colors. So don't feel like you have to have the exact same colors as me. Uh, and I'm using a uh, 9 by 12 inch canvas panel. This one's a linen covered canvas panel, so it's a little bit nicer. A um, little bit smoother surface maybe. I don't know. It's got an interesting texture to it. So, uh, And I'm going to just use some chalk here and go over my drawing with you. And then you can uh, follow along if you want to. So I started out by kind of figuring out my center candle here is going to be just to the side of the middle of the canvas. So if you kind of split it down the middle, actually this uh, candle here kind of lines up right along the center. And then if you split it this way, this top of this candle kind of cuts off right there and comes straight down. If you want to do this as an advent candle series, uh, you know, there's four candles with advent, I would just kind of tuck everything over this way and maybe fit another candle in over here. It would be done the exact same way. Uh, and then uh, let's see, so I'm gonna leave room for this candle light to kind of fit right between these two candles there. So just kind of do like a rectangle. And the top of this will kind of have an oval. These other two in the reference image are kind of viewed from below. So they're actually sloped up a little bit and then come down. So there, and then this one's really almost kind of straight across. So this one's right at eye level. So you're not seeing the the top of it, this one's a little bit above eye level, so you're seeing kind of the top of the rounded part of it, and then this one's just slightly below eye level, so you're seeing kind of a little bit of a circle in it. And I'm gonna go all the way down here with our edge of our candles, try to kind of get them straight if you can. And then uh, above them, we're gonna kind of find the middle part. This one's a little off center there, and do our little candle flames right in the middle of our candle on each one of these and really kind of they could tilt you know candles don't always grow go grow <laughs> go straight up no they don't usually grow they don't usually grow at all <laughs> and then at the bottom here I'm just going to fill in with some little greenery and I'm just going to kind of indicate the direction so I want uh, these ones to kind of be split like a V shape here maybe and a couple of them come down that way and then a uh, nice large Christmas ball overlapping these two right there. And then a smaller one a little bit farther down. Some greenery coming off this way, kind of filling up that empty space there. And some kind of curving down this way, filling up this corner. Another little small one there maybe. Another little bit of greenery here. We'll tuck another small 
little, you could do berries, you could, you could do pine cones instead of these if you wanted it more rustic. There's all kinds of different ways to do this. Uh, and then another Christmas ball there. And you notice I'm kind of tucking it down into this greenery because I want it to look like it's sort of, you know, tucked down into the greenery nestled in, in there. So we're not going to see the whole bottom part of it. We're just going to see kind of that top rounded edge. All right, so that's that's our drawing. Not too hard. Uh, some squares and circles, rectangles and circles. And um, I'm going to keep this as simple as I can. So I'm going to, hopefully, uh, this will be a good beginner project. We're going to try, shoot for that at least. Uh, so let me see. I think we'll do a phthalo blue and a little bit of burnt sienna. That makes a really pretty teal color. Phthalo blue. Phthalo blue. Burnt sienna. <laughs> Are you like my play-by-play -play yep. guy tonight? She's reaching for the phthalo blue. <laughs> she goes in for the burnt sienna. <laughs> I like it. And I can maybe grab a little bit of that phthalo green to brighten it up even more. That The burnt sienna just kind of creates like a, a lovely teal color. Uh, but it's not, it's going to be more of like a peacock uh, turquoise and not that, uh, you know, bright aqua turquoise. So I'm going to use this darkest color first. And this side of our candle is going to be nice and dark. So I'm just going to come along here and sweep this color down into our black. And I'm not going to go all the way down to the bottom. I'm just kind of going to run it along that side there. And do it all along the top of our candle. So it's got kind of a hint of it, but it's just barely tinting that black. You can see that. Let's do it here. And I'm not going to worry about my greenery. We'll cover, we'll go back in and fill that in later. But I do want to have a little bit of this blue coming down here on each one of these. Maybe add a little bit of water just so it goes on a little smoother. And I, I didn't mention my brushes. Uh, this one's my number eight bride. It's about a mm, half inch flat. And then we'll use uh, maybe another, uh, maybe three eight quarter inch and three, th well, actually that's three eighths inch. Three eighths inch flat, three eighths inch, or three eighths inch, eight inch angle. I can't say that <laughs> tonight. <laughs> and <laughs> Then we'll want a round, small round brush and a uh, small bright. And then uh, this is a brush by the Art Sherpa, my friend Cinnamon Cooney. She has a whole set of these. These are her little uh, foliage brushes. So I'm going to try it out tonight. I think uh, I tried it a little bit earlier. I think it's going to work well for some of our candle flames. So all the links to those are down in the description. There's a new Amazon uh, website with all of my recommendations for paints and art supplies all the stuff that I'm using in these videos uh, is in my Amazon store or at least as close as I can get to what I'm using if the, not everything is sold on Amazon some of my canvases come from uh, other websites this one actually got on sale at the local Hobby Lobby so and I saw that uh, Amazon is now available in Australia oh nice yeah. I need to set up. I, I don't have my, my foreign thing set up right yet. I, I need oh, to get it set up correctly. Yeah. I, I don't know if it works on the store. It might work automatically with the store. I know the links that it didn't work yet. But okay, I'm going to use a little bit of white now. And I'm just going to start lightening up and adding some highlights to my candle. And it's going to be very bright right away because we've got such a dark background. So I'm just setting it, I have very little paint on my brush. I'm gonna set it down right at the top where I want the brightest part to be and just kind of flick it. I'm not even really pulling it down. I'm just sort of flicking my brush and uh, my wrist like this, pulling it towards me and holding it really upright over the canvas so that it gets a good leverage and it just, you can kind of hear it flicking makes that noise there. I think I'm going to like this color. We had this color scheme 
in our house up until last year, and then we changed to gold and silver, but we had this turquoise and red, bright red and lime green thing going on for a while. It was a really pretty color scheme. So this is a throwback to our... <laughs> it's Throwback Tuesday. That's right. <laughs> and then Taco Thursday. <laughs> Actually, we had Taco Monday. Talk, we did have Taco Monday last <laughs> night. <laughs> We're all messed up. That's all right. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna, going to do a little bit of highlight right in the middle. I'm just going to kind of pull side to side to get a little bit lighter color. Each time I'm doing a little bit lighter. And I'm going to do a little bit of highlight down the middle of our candle. Just a little bit. Just kind of pulling side to side there. It'll make it look a little bit more rounded, leave a little bit darker along those edges. This one can be fairly bright because it's going to have light from both of these. Uh, this side of this one's going to be fairly bright, so I'll go ahead and do some on this one as well, like that. And then this one's going to have light at the top from both of them. So I'll go ahead and pull like that. All right, and a little bit more white. And really you could do this for any color you wanted. It'd be the same if I did red, if you wanted gold, any, any color. You make your dark color first, and then you just gradually add more white to it uh, to create your highlight colors. So let's go ahead and put a little bit of this right here in this middle part of this one, that part that's sticking out. A little bit of that really bright turquoise. And I want to put a highlight on this candle where this light is shining from this one. And a little bit on this one as well. We'll have a little highlight right there. So I was reading chat. Did we say hi to everybody joining we us didn't. tonight? We didn't. Okay. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. I know I get so into what I'm doing here. You just I forgot. Get off and run and take I do, off. It's I do. I like, do. I'm like, I'm like on a mission. It's like, good that I have you to help help me slow it's down. It's like and, somebody comes over to the house, you open the door, and you just run. <laughs> you go. You don't even say hi. <laughs> don't offer them anything to drink. Just let's <laughs> no. go. Yeah, we're going. <laughs> let's sit down, and eat dinner right now. Let's <laughs> let's go. <laughs> but welcome to everybody who's yes. joined us tonight live. We've got a few first time live watchers. Ooh, nice. Welcome. And of course, it's worldwide. Tuning Absolutely. into the YouTube capital of the world, Arkansas, USA. <laughs> so. Yes. <laughs> I know people look at me funny when I say that, that I <laughs> do YouTube videos. They're like, ah, uh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yeah, exactly. Ain't that cute? What a nice little hobby. <laughs> <laughs> not a teenager, no, not. I think people have a idea that YouTube's for teenagers, but there are a lot of actually went to a conference with YouTubers, and they they were ninety percent of them were younger than me. <laughs> so there is something to that. <laughs> All right, so you see how we're kind of gradually building up these lighter parts. I added a little bit of the light color, lightest color, right at the top of those candles. Uh, to give it some glow because those will kind of be highlighted. We'll see a little bit of that at the top edge. And I'm going to keep on adding a little bit more white. We'll do a really bright bit of white right in here. Actually, get just the tip of my brush there and dab on some real bright white right there. Maybe a little bit right here. And let's do a little bit right in here. And I'm just using the edge of my brush, pressing it flat so that I get a nice chiseled edge on there so that I can do these little tiny lines. You don't have to switch to a liner brush to do lines. You can just press that flat brush nice and straight. It actually makes it a lot easier to do lines with a flat brush than with a liner brush, I think, especially when you're a beginner. All right, let's do one more little bright highlight there. And... There's actually one down lower here on this one I didn't see, so let's do it right here and right here. Okay. I might blend that in just a little bit so it's not so all by itself. You're going to have to go faster. I'm going to have to go faster? Yeah, because I'm getting hot. 
in my new sweater. <laughs> oh yeah, Mark's got his his uh we got our ugly Christmas sweaters in today yeah. from Teespring. So Mark yeah. decided to put his on, but <laughs> so there's And now I'm kinda of regretting it. <laughs> Maybe a little bit warm have for to the take studio. it off here a little bit. Go put the fan on. <laughs> but there's a link down in the description to yes. Teespring store to buy if Angela even, Fine Art related sweaters. If you need an t-shirts. ugly Christmas sweater this Christmas, they're definitely ugly. And it is a pretty ugly Christmas sweater. It's got, uh, well, here, pull mine over and I can show the design. I'm going to make some darker. I got rid of all my dark color here. I need a little bit darker here. Just want to add a little bit more of kind of that middle color on this one over here. Kind of blend in a little bit of that. No, I won't. You're going to have to hold it up for me, so I, I don't want to touch it. Okay, there we go. This is going to work out. <laughs> I'll move it. Here. There it is. It looks, my, says my sweater is just in the ugly in stage. The ugly stage. <laughs> Stick man. Yeah. Brushes. <laughs> Get them while they're hot. <laughs> Pretty fun. I actually had a lot of fun designing those. I can lay down on the desk there. So no, mine. no, it's okay. No? It's okay. All right. All right. I think we're good. I think we've got decent. And you notice that I kind of left just a little bit of this black uh, outlining the candle, and that way we don't have to we don't have to uh, you know worry about the outline of it. It's already kind of automatically done. Okay, liking that. So there's our candles for the most part. We might add a little bit more to them, but that's that's the main part of those. And let me grab my, uh, actually let's do the glow on the candles. Let that dry because it's going to need to dry a little bit. I'm going to wet my brush down just slightly and grab some cadmium red light of a nice orangey red color and then I'm going to take most of the color off so I just want it very dry and I'm going to go right in the middle of my candle flame there and just completely destroy it <laughs> go right over the top get a little bit more that is an interesting sound what that is an interesting sound that scraping sound. This is working nicely. It's a good scrubber. I'm just kind of setting it straight upright and working it in a circle. Round and round. The thing you don't want to do is like right there, you can see where I'm kind of creating a black hole. Um, that means that the first layer of paint was starting to dry and I kept scrubbing on it and uh, it was lifting. So. We'll just have to add more paint to that, and actually that's kind of where our flame is going to be, so it won't matter too much. Let me get that off. I'm just going to wipe that off with the cloth because it's kind of interfering with what I'm doing here. Wipe all my chalk marks off. That's a super chat. Woohoo! This one's from Brenda, Thank and you, Brenda. I lost it. That's moving pretty quick tonight. Oh. <laughs> uh, it says, Merry Christmas, Angela and Mark. I love you guys and want you to know you're such a blessing to my life. Oh, Thank you so much, Brenda. Wow, Brenda, thank you. Wow, that's that's sweet. Don't make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> I can't read. We got a really sweet message the other day in the chat. Sometimes I, I mm -hmm. get a little teared up. You guys are so sweet to us. We love you too. We do. We, we are so blessed by... All the people we've gotten to meet through YouTube. It's been amazing. Amazing journey. I feel like we've got friends all over the world. All right. That is for sure. Yes. Okay, so I'm just gradually widening this out. Trying not to go over my previous layers too much because I don't want to lift them off. But that's enough of a glow for right now. We'll probably add a little bit more later but I need to let that dry completely before I mess with it anymore. So we'll go ahead and work on our greenery. I'm gonna use my angle brush for that um, and grab some of the phthalo green. And 
we'll use a little bit of burnt umber. It'll deepen up that green, make it more of a pine green. This is probably going to be pretty dark, so I don't know if it'll show up right at first, but we'll just put a few in kind of as our base, and then we'll add some highlight color. So what I'm doing is kind of laying in a uh, center. You'll be able to see it on here. And then I'm going on either side of it and creating needles and just using that edge of my angle brush to create the needles. Let me I'll grab some of this unbleached titanium and make it a little bit softer so you can see it better against that black. There we go. Another super cat. And you are happy with that bell tonight, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta work it. It's loud. <laughs> I know. You're getting better at it. <laughs> I'm trying to. <laughs> it's complicated, you know. It's, it's not as easy as it looks. Not just, everybody can do. <laughs> I just make it sound easy. This one's from Sin. And she says, uh, I think it's she, yes. I've been your groupie for five months now. Ooh. Rock on. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. I think she was talking to me, not you. Uh, okay. <laughs> the groupie because of the cowbell. I see. Music I see. related. And the and the stick man, obviously. She's Disco lights. That's right. <laughs> Thank you, Sin. Um, what was I doing? Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> I added a little bit of burnt sienna to the center of these as well. So why don't you zoom in on this bottom part here, honey? We'll live dangerously and see if we can keep it on camera. If I was a betting man, I'd say no. <laughs> okay, we'll try. We'll try our best. So uh, some of this is going to be going over the top of our... Um, the top of our... Um, ornaments so I'm, I'm just going to I did go I went off immediately just right off the immediately. bat I reached for a drink first thing <laughs> I did I turned your back it's a trap and I was like yes okay so actually I want to pull from the stem outward And they don't all have to kind of make sense. They can all, you know, some of them can just be kind of random out uh, by themselves because you're not going to see all the greenery laying flat perfectly facing you. Some of it will be kind of on its side or you might see it from, you know, pointing straight at you. So it um, doesn't have to be exactly just right. Side cam was not too good there. Not, Sorry, everybody. Were we... Am I? You're on shot? camera. Yeah. No, I tried to do side cam there for a second. But it wasn't working. It's not zoomed in. Oh, well, so yeah. So we're not getting the same detail and effect. I see. So I'm better at cowbell than camera. <laughs> Here, I can move down like that. There's side cam if you want to do. There we go. No, put it back on the top cam there. Okay. The darkness is, isn't showing up too good. Yeah, it's a little far away for that. Yeah. Probably. All right, so we've got our first layer of greenery in there. That'll be enough for now. We'll go ahead and put in our Christmas balls. And uh, I'm going to do these big ones. In, uh, should we do gold or red? We'll do the, these ones gold because we'll have a lot of gold in the thing. We'll do them red. I don't know why I asked you because then I decided what I wanted to do. Not even. Consulting. Oh, I just figured you're talking to yourself over there. I, I do that. Now, if you have a, like a crimson red, you could use that instead. I'm going to mix my uh, cadmium red light with my uh, quinacridone magenta to get kind of a burgundy color here. And go ahead and put it 
right down using that edge of the brush to kind of create that bright line right there and I'm not even going to worry about decorating it or you know coloring it in all the way down here once it hits that greenery I'm going to stop so unless you think you'll see the red underneath there I think it's good so good enough definitely drier in here than in the summertime it's drying out on me I keep talking about getting a humidifier in here I need to I really need to do that this week well we'll just start painting in a sauna then <laughs> we'll just get one put on the back side so we need to I'll need to put on a fan because it'll be so hot and then it'll just defeat the whole purpose we'll be so, back to where we started new patreon goal <laughs> uh, studio slash sauna <laughs> No, thank you. Well, that'd be about, what, 30000 40000 <laughs> Oh, gosh, no. No, not a fan. I take it back. Okay. All right, I'm grabbing a little bit of the black mixed with that red color. I'm going to pull from the bottom up just a little bit. Actually, it's not wanting to cover very well. It's drying almost as soon as I set it on the canvas, so I'm just going to let that... and put the whole thing in there and just let that sit and dry we're gonna have to have to have a couple of coats on that I can tell already okay grab that brighter red it's real important to do the candles first and that way we don't have to worry about painting around them we can do these you know brush strokes long brush strokes without uh, worrying at all about hitting these Christmas balls and messing them up so I always, it, when I can, I always like to work from back to front, um, you know, layer with my layers. It just makes it a lot easier. Okay, get that darker color and kind of come up from the bottom here. And add that darker color. Okay, we'll let that set. Let me see if this is dry over here. Not quite yet. Let's work on our candle flame. I think that the upper part should be dry enough by now. Is that shiny on camera? Should I tilt it up even more like that? Uh, it's a that little better? shiny, but not too bad. Yeah. Right here? It seems shiny to me. It is. The top part is shiny. Okay, yeah. let me do it like this then. Hold it. I'm going to use my damp towel and just kind of wipe off my... Chalk marks here, sorry. This is, now we can see if there's anything we need to do with our drawing, if we missed any areas or anything like that. I got some green down here somehow to cover that. All right, so I'll hold it up like this. So I think I'm going to start with my cadmium yellow light. If you don't have a cadmium yellow light, just use some, um, you could use Hansa yellow light, it's very similar, or uh, cadmium yellow medium with some white. Um, cadmium yellow light is just a little bit brighter, white, uh, brighter yellow than, um, oh, I was going to put some more of the, let's do a little bit more of the glow around it first. Maybe add a little bit of the cadmium orange this time. Wipe most of that off. Kind of sounds like a pencil sharpener. Just don't want to use, oh it kind of does, yeah. Just don't want to use too much paint. That's the main thing. If you have too much paint, it'll just make a bigger and bigger circle for you. It won't get this kind of faded look. 
and um, if you get too much of the glow color, you can always go back in with black and come back in the opposite direction over the top of it with black. So I'm just gonna, not even reloading, I can think I can do all three of these with the same load of paint on this brush here. I'm just really pressing down, making that brush push that paint pigment into the canvas for me. Working great. Okay, see how nice that is? Now if you want it even more soft, you know, you can go back over it multiple times and like I said, you know, do some more black around the edges possibly, but I, I, like, I like the kind of uneven glow look because that kind of is what happens around a candle flame anyways. It kind of flickers and does weird things, so you're not going to have a perfectly even glow all the time. So we'll do, let's do a nice big flame on these. We'll leave room for our wick down here. I'm going to do a nice teardrop shape. And I want to make sure I know where my center is going to be. You could start with the wick if you want to. There we go leaving a little bit of that orange showing through in places. It doesn't have to be solid coverage at this point. We're going to build up several layers to give it more realism. And this one's going to be right here. This is probably the hardest part, maybe, I would say. It's still not too difficult, but just uh, take your time. Use a small round brush that you can get a good point on. I did the edge first and then kind of filled in the middle a little bit. Very little paint on my brush. But it is wet down a little bit, so it's kind of more fluid. So it goes on easy. You clean that out and I'll put in our wicks. Grab some black. And we'll put this one right in here. This one's going to go right up in here. It's going to actually go down into the candle. Right there. And this one's going to set up right here. It kind of stops right where that yellow starts. And then I'm going to grab a little bit of white. Just put a little bit of white, like a cinder, at the top of each one of these. You can highlight it if it's not showing up enough against your black background. If you, but your glow should be kind of underneath it, so it should show up pretty well there, hopefully. A little bit of white right at the top. going to grab a little bit of my cadmium yellow medium a little bit of white a lot of white actually so it's just slightly yellow and reflect a little bit of that down into our base of our candle right here might create a little bit of a yellowish glow right there where it's the hottest and then let's use this color up in the middle of our candle flame. Leave a little bit of that lighter yellow border and come just on the inside with this color. And we're just going to be building up our light yellows, our yellow layers. And I'm not going all the way to the wick. I'm kind of coming on either side of it slightly and I'm going to do a little bit of blue down there so we're just kind of leaving a little space for the blue to be okay I'm going to 
gonna grab some bright white here and do a little bit of bright white right in that center. Isn't that amazing how just that yellow and the white, I don't know, it's so, I love this, that part about it, painting, it's kind of magic. All right, so let's grab some orange and a little bit of our cadmium yellow light. If you have like a Indian yellow hue that'd be something similar to this, you could use that instead. Or a cadmium yellow deep or something. We'll go right on the outside of our flame. Widen it out just a little bit. It's just layers of layers upon layers, yellows, oranges. Might use a little bit of this color right at the very top, even. You can make these all kind of a little bit different shapes. Some of them might be a little bit wider at the top than others. They don't all have to burn exactly the same, same. This one might be kind of pulled off to one side a little bit. There you go. I'll grab some of that light yellow that we did in the middle, actually a little bit more cadmium yellow light. And Go back in now with some of that around our white. Build up a second layer. The, the first layer is very kind of transparent. Yellow is a very transparent color to begin with anyways, even though cadmium yellows are considered opaque. Um, so you may need a couple of coats on these yellows to get them to really pop and be bright. All right. I'm going to grab a little bit of my phthalo blue and grab a little bit of the quinacridone magenta to make a more like a kind of like an ultramarine blue, purpley blue color for the bottom part of the flame. And if you have glazing medium, this is a good time to use it. Oh, I just got paint on my. On your canvas? Yeah. I know. What is that called? Light Lamp shade. shade. Lampshade. Lampshade. It's what you wear on your head at the parties. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. So a little bit of purpley. I'm going to make it a little bit more transparent with some of that glazing medium. And I'm going to paint it right at the bottom here of our flame. Oh, we got a question. Yeah. It's an art related question. Nice. Unlike most of chat. I like those. <laughs> the, you calling them out again? I'm just saying. <laughs> um, Actually, I'm going to grab a little white and mix that. Go ahead. Sarah would like to know that if you were to make the candles white, yes. what would the base color be? Um, I would use the... Um, the um, unbleached titanium probably for a white candle and then um, do the bright white as your highlight color do um, maybe a little tiny touch of gray or blue for the um, shadows but yeah with white you're not going to have um, you know you're not going to have as much of a dark color so you could you could add black to your whatever base color. You could even add that or, you know, if you wanted to make it a little bit more on the yellow side because the candle will, like even a white candle, will turn a little bit um, ivory 
where it's you know faded here so uh, you could add a little bit of um, I'm trying to think if you add if you add yellow to black it'll turn it kind of green so you could try adding um, like a little bit of brown in with the white and then black and that'll keep and then maybe a little bit of yellow toward the top um, Sorry, I'm making that way more complicated than it needed to be, but good question. <laughs> All right, there we go. Just add a little bit of that, and I'm going to grab a little bit of white and kind of outline it with a little bit of white. I still have a little bit of blue in there, so it's not pure white. I'm just going to go around the outside edges right there and there. It kind of has this little bit of a glow right on the outside where it kind of touches the wick. And the follow-up question about what could be some alternative background colors? Oh, yeah, you could do any number of colors. Green would be pretty. Or... Carbon black. Charcoal black. <laughs> Burnt umber would be pretty, you know. Um, or gray. You could do like a faux wood background, you know, fake, make it look like wood. We've done several videos like that. Got some yellow here. I'm just kind of, my blue got a little high there, so I'm going back over it with a little bit of the cadmium yellow. Actually, don't mind that because it's kind of creating a green color at the base there which is nice. And then grab in some more white here and we'll do nice bright white kind of I like that. Kind of does this kind of cupping thing. There's a little bit of a shadow and then it's bright bright white. And then it fades out again on the outsides. So why don't you zoom in on this one real tight? Do it. Okay. So I'm going to go just above where that blue ended and just do kind of a, a semicircle, not all the way to the edge, and then just pull up some white paint from there. And kind of leave a hard edge right there. See on each one of those. And we can blend it out just a little bit, but it's pretty bright. Grab a little bit of the cadmium yellow medium. Add that around the outside edges. Maybe a little bit here too. Really, you can kind of stop at any point where you are happy with it. I'm just kind of adding a few more extra layers to give it a little extra realism, but <clears throat> it's looking good. And then I think I want to glaze a little bit of my orange. Actually, I want to get that orange-yellow color and go right on the outside of these. Add just a little bit of that extra glow out, out there. And you can use your finger to kind of help blend it out if you need to. It's just kind of a transition color between that kind of reddish uh, orange and the yellows. So it'll kind of create a little bit more of a glow effect. You can see the difference between this one and this one, what we're trying to do. So just adding a little bit. And this golden uh, glazing fluid that I, that I like to use has an extender in it. If you're using regular glazing liquid, it will dry really fast, so it won't let you kind of mess with it too much. You kind of have to just lay it down and hope for the best. So um, I would definitely uh, 
use the glazing, the golden glazing liquid if you have it, or um, you can even just use water. So it dries pretty quickly though, so I'm going to put a little bit more. When I say quickly, not as quick as, as a regular glazing liquid would though. Okay, then grab some chamomile light. And I'm going to do one more really bright. Okay, I think that's good. I'm going to stop messing with it. You can zoom out now. our candles are for the most part done we might mess with the highlights on them a little bit uh, more but okay. I think they're fairly good got a okay. question about the glow which brush did you use when you did the circular glowy scratchy noises this is the art sherpa brushes it's the cloud they're called the cloud yeah. brushes okay they come in a three pack but they're in the the link down in the description all right, uh, so let's put in some highlights for our red Christmas balls. I'm going to use this. Actually, I think I'm going to switch to a little bit smaller brush. It'll be a little bit easier to control. So we'll use a small two bright, number two bright. And I'm going to grab the cadmium red, just straight cadmium red medium here. And I'm going to use the edge of my brush and draw around. Get it kind of as even as I can. Put a nice bright highlight on there on the top edge. And with shiny reflective surfaces, you won't have as much blendy uh, blending. You'll have more hard edges. So you don't have to blend this out quite as much as you might normally if you were trying to get, you know, kind of the soft curve to something because it's a reflective surface. It the uh, reflections are a little bit harder, a little bit more defined. Okay, and then we'll do one right here. I'm just trying to think of where the light's going to hit these. And if you have ones that you are, you know, thinking about doing in another color, you can, you know, look up pictures of ornaments to kind of see, but just try to think about where our light source is on these ones it's going to be coming from the top here and so these ones are going to be kind of darker down at the bottom and on this side so doing these much brighter toward the top edges Just gonna dab in some of that color toward the middle a little bit, but <clears throat> I'm not gonna pull it all the way down. And I'm gonna grab that quinacridone magenta. I think the black color we mixed is gone, so I'm gonna mix up some more of that black and quinacridone magenta. And use that here at the bottom. And pull some of that up. Just a little tiny touch of black. So you don't want it to be completely black, but and if it's too purpley, we can add a little bit of that quinacridone or the cadmium red to it. But I want it nice and dark. Almost black for the very bottom here. 
There we go. That'll give us a real rounded look to our Christmas balls. Ornaments, I should say. Sounded weird. here dark down here and they're already pretty dark I'm just kind of adding another layer because they were a little bit blotchy they weren't completely filled in all the way okay I'm liking that Trying to create kind of a moody look, like a little bit of a deep color story here. <clears throat> All right, so now for our highlights, I'm going to try to figure out where my brightest color would be coming from. And I'm going to use a little bit of the cadmium red light to just orange up that highlight color so it doesn't turn it pink and we're gonna have let's see we're gonna have a dot right here maybe maybe one over here like that Something like that. Okay, let's do one over here. Just gonna use the edge of my brush to kind of create a dot there. And then let's do one here. This one might be a little farther out because it's farther away. It doesn't have to exactly match these three. There might be other light sources in the room, so I'll maybe put a, just a little bit of a highlight around the side or a couple other places. It's going to look weird at first. There we go. Okay, I got a question about mm -hmm. ball color. Yes. If somebody does it in a kind of a metallic color, mm -hmm. how would they do the highlights? Just with white, or like, are they talking about doing them in gold? Yeah. Um, you probably want to use silver, um, something uh, like that. Like another metallic. Uh, like another metallic, probably. Silver, white, you can mix. I'm going back over some of these highlights so that they're kind of set back in. I feel like this one needs to be farther back. I'm not using a reference image here, so I'm just kind of trying to figure out where it might hit. I feel like this one might be a little farther out. There we go. Well, actually narrow as they get closer so if you're trying to do the flame the bottom of the flame will actually kind of come to a point more closer you get to the edge of that ball
then there'll be a little bit of the blue from our candle also. So we can go along the edge with just a little bit of that blue. Add a little highlight of that or kind of a indication of some blue in there reflected in our red. And I'm just wiping it off so it's not super noticeable. We just kind of want it to blend into that red, but it should be there. See that? Maybe a little bit up here. That's what will make it more realistic looking, is having those kind of little color details. Let's add a little bit of yellow as well. So in the center of our flame highlights. Let's put a little yellow dot on a couple of these. Grab some white. Yeah, some real bright, shiny. There we go. We're getting there, closer. Let's okay, I'll let those sit, kind of look at them for a little bit and see if I want to change anything, but for now I'm happy with them. Let's add a little bit of gold ones. So we'll use a little bit of that yellow oxide this time. And we'll do a little bit of that. Probably should have done these first. Them dry. And let's see. One up in here. You can switch to a smaller round brush if you want to get these circles in easier. And I'm adjusting the height of them so that they're not all lined up at the same height. So I want them to kind of vary. And I'm going to have to go back in and darken up the bottoms of these because they'll be too bright at this color. But this would be a good base for our gold. And let's see, do one more. One, two, three, four. We'll do five. So we'll do one here. Down low. And another one kind of right in here. Can I suggest if people are just finding you that they subscribe? Yes. Give it a thumbs up. Please do. And if you want to see my other Christmas uh, paintings, I've got a playlist for those up in the iCards. Um, or you can go to my channel by clicking on my name or my photograph. And after the show, you can go check it out. We've got... Over 200 videos, I think, now. And I think about a dozen Christmas-themed ones. So there's plenty to choose from. All right. So now, this is going to be important. We'll grab some of that yellow while we've got it and add a little bit of it to our Christmas balls. So right next to wherever those Christmas balls are, I want to... Add a little reflection of those yellow. And they're never going to go right up to the edge. It's always going to be kind of right in the middle. But they're not going to be necessarily a perfect circle. They're going to be kind of skewed. 
because of the way the, the roundness of the um, ball um, turns the light and bends it. So, and some of them will be a little bit higher than others if they're farther away. They don't have to all be at the same level there, but that will help sell the kind of realism of those Christmas balls as well. All right, let's, I need to stop calling them that. I need to call them ornaments. Kind of a weird way of calling them. <laughs> Reminds me of the Saturday Night Live. NPR skit. <laughs> I'm not going to say it out loud because I don't want to. Might be children watching, but. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I'm going to grab some burnt sienna. I like looking at your ornaments. What? <laughs> Said I like looking at your ornaments. Yes. Yes, exactly. I'm going to use that darker color there at the bottom. This is burnt sienna. Or burnt umber and yeah, burnt burnt sienna and black here, and I'm going to darken up the bottoms of all of these so that they're almost disappearing into our greenery. And I'm going in kind of a circular motion, so it's kind of cup cupping the bottom edge of them and kind of wrapping around, leaving this sort of center a little bit brighter. I can add a little bit of the yellow oxide to help blend that in if I need to. It's not that's not a really pretty color, but it works. It'll you just want it dark, just a hint of brown. You could even use burnt umber, I guess, instead. It might have been a prettier color. You just want it to be. That bottom edge should kind of almost disappear. There we go. Grab some of that yellow oxide and add it over the top, just blending kind of lightly, tapping. I like it. It's looking good. All right. Let's use some, I'm trying to think what color. Let's use some white and some cadmium yellow. And we'll add our highlight colors to these. And these are not going to be, they're so small, they're not going to be as detailed. So we can just kind of do kind of a couple little highlights at the top and call it good. It doesn't have to be super detailed. A couple. Okay, now I'm going to use this color in our ornaments there. Maybe along the top edge since it looks like it's it may not be quite that bright. We can tone that down with a little bit of red. Let me take my red and just kind of tap over that just a little bit. There we go. Just soften it up and then a little bit of that red is going to be in these too because these are shiny as well. So we'll give these a little bit of a red detail facing wherever that red's coming from. We'll add a little bit of that red to our Christmas balls. Ornaments. Ornaments. <sighs> bulbs. Christmas bulbs, bulbs. Thank you. Ornaments, round, and decorative. 
thingamabobbers. <laughs> I'm going to get comments about that. I can just tell you right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Grabbing some white. It was junk in the trunk the other night. Yeah, that's right. Grabbing some bright white here. Poor and Joe. just put in some... Huh? Joseph, yeah. Yeah, poor Joe. Joseph. Joseph wasn't getting any respect last night or the other night. He was having wardrobe problems. Okay, adding a nice bright highlight to these. Now, that one got a little out of shape there. So if somebody was to like want to add a tank to this, <coughs> where exactly mm -hmm. would they put it? No, that would be interesting. No, that's a real question from a, a, a super chatter wants to know. <laughs> uh -huh. That's the that's the truth. That's the truth. Yeah, you don't have to check the comments. Just <laughs> trust me. Well, the comments are usually gone by the time I get done with the show anyway, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> I don't know. But grabbing some red here. Now I'm just feeling like this has got a lot of colors going on in it. So I just want to maybe tone down a little bit of this. I can hear you laughing. Somebody said that their husband laughs every time they hear me <laughs> talk about a tank. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody wanted to know, actually, uh, first time catching live, mm -hmm. want to know, um, is there some place that can share their paintings? Yes, I have them. Um, a f actual Facebook group just for that called Thankful Art. And it's on Facebook. Um, you can The link is down in the description for it. But you can look for Thankful Art on Facebook, too. Or you can just search my name and it should pop up as well. But, yeah, there's... It's a good... It's a great group. The number one... Number one rule is be kind. So, we know how... Uh, no, the first rule is don't talk about Thankful Art. <laughs> <laughs> Second the first rule. rule is Thankful Art is don't talk about right. Thankful Art. I don't think that's true. Okay. <laughs> you can talk all you want. Just as long as it's not bad. <laughs> but yeah, there's a lot of really nice people in there. And I do a Monday art chat in there as well. So I do like a live video chat and talk about what we're going to be painting that week. And I actually let people give input on what they would like to see me paint. So there's a lot of interactive stuff going on in there. It's really good. All right, grab a little bit of yellow oxide this time with my phthalo green and some white to brighten it up. We'll see if that's bright enough. We'll see. I don't know. I'm going to go in now and we're going to go on top of our Christmas balls and I'm just going to ornaments. Jeez, I'm not going to stop saying that, am I? It's like stuck in my head somehow. I don't even know why I started saying it that way. <sighs> I'll go back through and edit in ornaments. <laughs> Every time I say it. <laughs> when you paint your ornaments. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Thank you, honey. Anything for you would be very seamless and natural sounding. Right, I'm sure. Okay, we can zoom in again if we want to, just to see kind of these. Uh, the idea is to keep these very, very thin. So I'm using that flat bladed edge of the angle brush because it'll give me nice dagger-like. Nope, that's, that's perfect. Okay. And then I'm going to start at the center. So here's my center line, right? It's there. And I'm going to go on either side of it and do them pointing 
toward the tip, but some of them I'm going to kind of angle out at a, at a different angle so that they're not all perfectly lined up. Right. And some of them I'll do a little bit shorter than others, and some of them I'll kind of pull a little bit longer. And some of them might just be little dabs. If they're coming up straight at us, we might not see the whole needle. We might just see like a little dot where it's sticking straight up at us. You'd see the tip of it like that. So it would look like a dot. So put a few of those in there towards the center. And then I can, I want to get two colors going on here. So I want to get a little bit of that darker burnt umber and the yellow green. And put a little bit of that over the top of some of these lighter ones now that'll help it, them be seen. It'll help that darker color be seen, get seen, be visible, whatever. Um, grabbing some burnt sienna as well. And I want a little bit of burnt sienna along that center line there, so I'm going to kind of darken it up and tap that along that center line like that. Let's do a little bit on this one. Actually, we'll do the center lines again because I kind of lost them. There we go. Okay, we're almost done our last step. I promise we are. Oh no, some there's some people in the chat. Steffi is concerned about you because it's been a while since you've done a flower. <laughs> I did I did the I did the uh, poinsettia a couple weeks ago, so it's only it's only been a few weeks. I'm I'm okay still. But we could put we could throw a poinsettia in here if you wanted to. I'm not going to do it tonight, but I totally think it would be pretty if you did one. Instead of Christmas balls, you could do poinsettias. Ornaments. Ornaments. important to go over the top of the ornaments now and this will really set those down into that greenery <laughs> oh my goodness so funny All right I'm gonna go back in do a few little dots and then get some of that darker color and put some of that in there too And then we probably need a little bit of that greenery reflected in the ornaments. See, I said it right, that down. So we could put a little green in the ornament reflection too, if we wanted to, but I'm not going to mess with that right now. Try to get these finished. where we can kind of just throw in some random ones that sort of overlap a little bit. doesn't have to make sense, but I'm just kind of crisscrossing them. So you can't really tell where they start or stop. Leave enough black in there so that they kind of disappear down into the background.
What are you laughing at? Somebody in chat wants to know Cinderella lost her shoe at the ornament. <laughs> I think so. That's good. I like uh, it. How's your fantasy foot ornament doing? <laughs> it's doing good. I won this week, so I beat beat my cousin. My uh my running backs are weak. I, I need more good running backs. So <laughs> But it's too late to trade, so I just keep hoping that one will magically show up. Adding some white bright highlights here. To just a few. But I got a good quarterback now, so I'm happy. I don't think I'm going to win. I'm in fourth place, so it's pretty much not bad for my first time trying, though. Yeah, and not really being a football And not knowing fan. anything about what it, you know, what I'm doing. I figured it out pretty quick. That's in the competitive part. <laughs> yeah. Don't like to lose. Okay, there we go. Okay, which which bit. brush are you using right now? This is that three eighths inch angle brush. Okay. Okay. And really, these ones down here might be a little bit darker, so I'll probably go back in and add a little bit of shadow to them once I get these on here. But we can adjust them better once we have them in, and then we can adjust the values pretty easily just by adding some extra shadows and things. Always pointing the the pine needles out towards the tip, so that's the main thing. And I'm kind of creating uh, movement by you know these ones are pointing out this way and down, these ones are kind of laying flat, and then these ones are kind of angling up. In fact, I think I want to bring one up pretty high here. create some up and down movement so they're not all the same height. The paint's getting dry so it's every now and then just dip your brush into your water just just to the not all the way up to the silver part here but just kind of the tip of the brush. That'll help keep your paints or, or your brush moisturized or your brush moist, and uh, it'll make your paints go on smoother. But your paints can be as fluid as you want, but if you've got a dry brush, it's gonna, it's not gonna go on smoothly. It's, so just remember to grab a little bit of water because it gets get going and you forget that it's been a while since you picked up water. Okay. Zoom out there. I want to see what that looks like on the screen. Oh, it's pretty. I like it. Very pretty. Okay. So, yeah, I like the blue candles. I think that's a different. So now I can go in with my phthalo green and maybe just a touch of the blue. Give it a little teal color. That'll pull that blue from the upper part down into our greenery too. Kind of help unify the painting. Mix those two together. And I'll add a little bit of that just here and there. Where I want maybe a little shadow in my greenery. And I'm just wet it down so it's a little bit thinned. Maybe add a little bit of that burnt sienna to it down a little bit it is pretty bright there we go kind of real close where those ornaments are tucked in or maybe down toward the bottom where they might not be getting as much light you can see the difference between this side and this side the 
add a little bit in here. It just kind of sets those back in and gives them a little bit more dimension. A little bit richer color. Let's add a little bit of this green to our Christmas balls there. Ornaments. Ornaments. <laughs> you knew I was going to say it. You were ready for it. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's, been a, it's been a long night. I just can't <laughs> seem to get right. Jeez. What kind of channel is this? <laughs> no joke. <laughs> no joke. <laughs> just gonna put a little I feel like it needs something else so I'm just gonna dab a little bit of white maybe I don't know maybe not that looks a little weird we could put a little ribbon in there if we wanted to I don't know I'm not gonna mess with it I think we're actually one of these has like curly cues I could keep going and add more and more little doodads to it, but I think I think we're good. I added needed a little bit of cover up right there because I wiped off a little bit of black paint when we first started, but I think yeah, I think it's pretty nice. I like it. Hope you try it, uh, and if you do, you can share it with me. Like I said, on my thankful art page on Facebook there, and uh, we will be back on Saturday for a we'll have a snow globe painting with the and tank in it. <laughs> I think it'll have a Christmas village or some sort of a, maybe an owl in there too. We were talking about it, so I'm not sure exactly yet. And then so Sunday is our going to be our bonus Patreon video. Uh, we do once a month and we're going to be painting a covered bridge winter scene. So if you're part of my Patreon, uh, $5 and up folks, be looking for that this, uh, this Sunday. There's a link down below for Patreon if they yes. want to join. It's patreon.com slash Angela Fine Art. All right. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. And we're back for Stickman. <laughs> for Stickman. Zoom in, zoom in. We forgot Stickman. Got to get him in here real quick. We thought we were done, but we weren't. We're only coming back because Stickman's special this month and we're giving him away, so we got to... <laughs> That's hilarious. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're doing a candle. Here. So for those of you who are still sticking around, <laughs> only about 100 people left, so it's not too bad. Small, small bonus. It's, it's, it's like after the credits in the movie, you stay. 
Do they have bonus footage? (laughs) That's what this is. Yep. We only, we tricked you. We thought we were done. (laughs) So what we're doing here in the month of December, there's a special stick man ornament that we're uh, painting and then it will be given away to one lucky winner or (laughs) unlucky winner, depending (laughs) how you look at it. Yeah. The end of the month and uh, there you go. It'll be signed by both Angel and I on the back. Yes. And dated. It's, and it's going to be a treasured memento. Yeah, and we'll, like I said before, <laughs> we'll see it in a, in a in a yard sale sometime <laughs> in the future. Okay. <laughs> hey. There we go. Okay, you got a That's little awesome. candle. There. He'll get uh, he'll get a covered bridge and a <laughs> and a what else? A covered bridge. Huh? That's going to be and awesome. A, Oh, and a snow globe. Maybe we'll put oh, him yeah. in a snow globe. Oh, I don't know. We'll cool. see. We'll figure it out. <laughs> hey, thanks All right, for sticking there we go. around, For everybody. real this time. Thanks, guys. Bye. Do, do, do I do the outro video again? Sure, yeah. And I'll cut out the whole thing. All right. All right. Goodbye, guys. For real this time. <laughs>